In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We gather around the table of the Lord on the solemnity of the Lord's birth. And we thank the Lord for the gift of life. We thank Him for the gift of the season. We beg for the grace that we may truly see the beauty of the Incarnation in our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it. Grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. Hark your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won a victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made heir of all things, and through whom He created the universe who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Please stand. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. For today a great light has come upon the earth.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Muli po maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. Batiin niyo naman po yung inyong mga katabi ng Merry Christmas, ng maligayang Pasko. Nang maramdaman ho natin yung saya at ligaya ng diwa ng Pasko. One thing that is unique with us human beings is that we are able to communicate through words. Naipaabot niyo ho yung mga pagbati ninyo sa pamamagitan ng pagsasalita. Nagsasalita tayo. We don't only communicate with symbols, but also through the words we speak. The words that we write and the words that we express. Even our deaf-mute brothers and sisters would, would, could communicate with words that are formed through hand gestures. And whenever we communicate with words, there is always that sense of bridge that is formed between two people. Nagkakaroon ng koneksyon, nagkakaroon ng ugnayan. Whenever words are spoken, a gap is being filled. Silence is being broken. Whenever words are spoken, we do not only communicate, but we also build relationships. That is why one of the most hurting gestures is when people would give us the cold shoulder or they will hand us the silent treatment. Hindi ka papansinin. Hindi ba masakit kapag hindi ka kinakausap ng kakilala mo o kaya kaibigan mo? As if we do not exist. When people don't want to talk to us, it is as if they no longer want to build a relationship with us. With words, 
we build bridges with words we fill the gaps with bur- with words we build relationships but why is there such a thing as miscommunication usually this is the primary reason why people would misunderstand one another miscommunication becomes the primary reason why relationships crumble miscommunication becomes the primary reason why people would treat one another with a cold shoulder kapag hindi nagkakaunawaan dun nagsisimula yung pagkasira ng mga ugnayan and why does our communication fail our communication fail because of one sole reason our words become twisted it is either people have twisted our words or we are the ones who twist our own words and whenever our words become twisted then the truth is compromised whenever our words become twisted we can no longer rely that that word is founded on the truth Kaya nga minsan, hindi ho tayo agad naniniwala kapag narinig natin yung salitang daw. Sabi niya daw. Sabi daw ni sir. Sabi daw ni ma'am. Sabi daw sa Facebook. Sabi daw sa Twitter. Words become twisted. Words are given a new meaning. A meaning deprived of its true meaning. And this is the great tragedy that we are experiencing today. Our words have become so twisted that we no longer know who are the ones speaking the truth. Our words have become so twisted that we find it difficult to trust one another. Our words have become so twisted that sometimes we prefer to keep silent rather than find ourselves in a not-so-comfortable situation. Self-interest is mistaken as service. Vengeance is mistaken as justice. Death is mistaken as order. Our words have become so twisted that we have already confused ourselves with what is the genuine truth. This Christmas Day, we focus our attention once again at the Word made flesh. But even before the Word became flesh, the eternal Word already points us to one essential trait of God that we believe in. That we believe in a God of relationship. We believe in a God who builds bridges. We believe in a God who does not want us to be astray. And it is this great mystery that He filled this great gap that was caused by sin. And as we focus our gaze on the eternal word, let us remember that this word is not a twisted word. Because the only word that God can utter is truth. And if we anchor our words to the eternal word, then we can, sh- then we can be sure that we are anchored on the truth. And if we anchor our words to that truth, there is something that we can hope for. In a world full of twisted words, we can always be sure that truth will always prevail. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. And as He dwells among us, let us also remember that that truth is among us. Hopefully, we will not be the ones who will be twisting the eternal word. If we find ourselves twisting the eternal word, then we may be finding, then we may be finding, our, finding ourselves away from the Christmas crib. As we begin this joyful season of Christmas, let us beg for this grace, the grace to open up our hearts so that we may receive the eternal word. And as we receive the eternal word, may we be faithful in keeping his word. 
Because if we are faithful to the eternal word, then we will be keeping his dwelling truly present among us. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. He made his dwelling in you. He made his dwelling in me. He made his dwelling in each and every one who carries the truth in their hearts. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by, and by the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. We Please all kneel. Please all stand. For our sake, he was, he was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Today, all the ends of the earth see the saving power of God. Through the Virgin Son, the Word made flesh, let us offer our Christmas petitions to God, our loving Father. For every intention, you will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, that we may joyfully proclaim God's presence among us through His incarnate Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the peace of all peoples, that they may know the light which darkness can never overpower. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those separated from the ones they love at this time, that the child of Bethlehem may draw them into the consoling warmth of this family feast. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all our families celebrating this joyful feast, that as we welcome our Savior, so we will see and welcome Him in His poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that the peace and saving power of Christ will be granted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Lord God, in purity and love, 
your son was brought forth by Blessed Mary, your handmaid. May she bring these prayers before you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day, when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in the mystery of the word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him god made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior of the, for this world and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, 
bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Mary, the Word made flesh. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof. But, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sangalan po ng ating rektor, Monsignor Rodi de la Cruz, kasama po si Father Cali Yamado. Pinapaabot po namin ang amin pong pagbati sa inyo ng maligaya at mapayapang Pasko sa inyong lahat. Merry Christmas po. We thank you for joining us in this celebration, lalo na po sa mga nakatayo po sa labas, na, makip, na, na pumila ng mahaba upang makadalo at makasama po para sa araw na ito. Baunin niyo po ang aming mga panalangin, baunin niyo po ang aming pagbabasbas at nawa sa inyo pong pag-uwi ay maibahagi niyo rin po ang ligaya, ang saya at kapayapaan ng Pasko. 
Muli po, Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat po sa inyo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of His Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of His Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness He gives and make you heralds of His gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the Incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of His peace and favor and make you sharers with the Church in heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.